Hello everyone, my name is Bethany and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a plaid pattern using color work. So to make plaid you need to have three colors. You need a dark color, a main color, and then a mid color. So it's almost like if you mix these two colors together you would get this one. That is how you can make it look like plaid. So this pattern is a repeat of six. So whatever you're doing, you need to have uh, a, a you need to have six and then uh, two for turning. So we're gonna do we're gonna chain eighteen plus two for twenty. There's my 18 and I'm going to chain two more for turning and then I'm going to double crochet in each stitch across or you can single crochet if you want this first uh, row to be shorter. Okay, so there is our starting foundation. So you're going to turn and you're going to want to make sure that you did, I didn't mention this before, but you want to start with your dark color. And um, you're working with your mid and your dark in this round. Your mid is going to be worked every single round. You're going to be alternating the mid with the, the dark and the light with each round. So you're going to begin still using your dark. You're going to work a double crochet in the same stitch. You're going to work a double crochet in the next stitch. Maybe. And then this is where you your color changes look can look nice. Is you're going to start your third double crochet. Bring it to this point and then you're going to finish it by um, joining your mid. So finish it by yarning over the mid color and that finishes the third double crochet. It kind of will loosen up a little bit so just kind of pull it a little tight. And then you're going to work with this thread. You're going to lay it kind of on top and then when you're working the next set work through the two loops and then work under that thread so you're working it within your work and you're not having your the, in, the inside should look very similar to the outside because you're hiding the ends. So I'm working two and then three and then when I'm switching back I'm going to do the same thing. So I started the three, I'm going to drop my mid and I'm going to finish with the black. Now here's a here's a tip to keep your your ends from getting tangled is um, since you're using your mid every single round, every single row, I leave it right here and then I have my dark and my, my light right here. When you're switching colors to keep them from getting tangled, make sure when you're switching that you're always pulling the mid to the back and you're always pulling the other colors to the front. So I've pulled this, so when I switched it, I dropped it to the back and then picked up the black this way. So we're gonna start our black. Again, you're gonna lay that, that end behind. You're gonna work it within the stitch. So there's one, two, three. So there's my third one. So I'm going to bring my black to the front. My mid is in the back. And I'm going to finish it with that. So that way you're always keeping your black up here and your maroon back. And then they're not, they're not twisting within each other as you're switching back and forth. So now we're going to do the mid color, the maroon. Okay, so I'm going to drop it in the back, bring up the black, finish with the maroon, and then I'm going to lay the maroon and work around it. Okay, 
Okay, so switching back, the black goes to the front. You're picking up the maroon and finishing. So you can see that they're not getting tangled. The maroon is staying back, the, the black is staying forward, and it's staying nice and neat. Okay, so that finishes our row one. So now you're going to turn, and it does get a little tricky with turning. You still want to keep your, your yarn forward and back the same way. But when you're, um, when you're turning, you do need to carry the yarn both threads. So to continue with the pattern, I'm going to grab my red. An end here. Okay. I'm going to join my red. Chain one, and then so now I'm going to have to work. I have to work with all three of the threads because when you're turning, you want both sides to look nice. You don't want to accidentally have um, an end hanging somewhere. So you're going to want to make sure that you're working. Um, both ends within this round. So for the red, I'm going to chain one, insert it in the same, and then make sure that the black and the maroon are getting worked in there. So there's the first one. Second one. Started my third one, and again I'm going to bring the red forward, pick up the maroon that's in the back, and then the black will just carry through the whole round. So now, since I've switched, I'm going to finish with the maroon, and now I'm working around the black and the red. So there, so I'm going to pull my maroon to the back, pick up my red, which is sitting a little to the front of me over here, finish that third with red, and now I'm going to be working around the black and the maroon. Okay, so the red goes forward picking up the maroon from the back and finishing. And then I'm working around the black and the red thread ends here. Whoops, and sometimes you'll work your three and forget. Okay, so take that to the back. The red is in the front. I'm going to drop the maroon and finish with the red. So you can see it's starting to look kind of like plaid. So that is basically it. You're going to alternate your mid, your dark, your mid, your dark, and your light, your mid, your light, your mid. So the, the mids are going to be diagonal, and the light and the dark are going to be diagonal. So you're just going to repeat that all the way around until you finish your project. Okay, so to do the plaid uh, color motif in, in the round, you're going to just start with a chain that is in multiples of six because you're not going to be turning. So I have a chain here of 36. And um, slip stitch into the first, depending on you know what you're, what you're doing. But if we're going to start with a chain, this is what you're going to do. Um, get your foundation. So um, double crochet in each chain. Okay, so come all the way back to the beginning. You're going to join with that first double crochet. 
And since we're starting with the dark, you're going to continue with the dark. So you're going to chain one, two, sorry, double crochet in the same stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, begin your double crochet, and then my yarn's a little bit of a mess here because I just pulled it out of the other project, but okay, so you're going to pull it through and finish with your mid, and working with the black behind, you're going to work your three, your two, almost three double crochet stitches. Okay, so I, I worked like two and a half there, and you can kind of pull it tight because it does kind of get loose. So I'm going to drop my black, and remember, you're keeping your mid back here, and you're keeping your black and your red up front. So I'm dropping my black by kind of bringing it up front and picking up my maroon. Sorry, I'm I'm sorry. I'm dropping my maroon by laying it back and I'm picking up my black, finishing. And then once you finish it, then you can bring your maroon back up and then work around that way. The point of keeping one back and one forward is making sure you're not twisting them when you're picking them up to do the to do the change. So I'm laying my back, for, my black forward, I'm bringing my maroon up from the back, and then finishing like that. So that's how you do it. And then I'm going to just continue around here. Man, this black is just a nightmare to work in. I can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, maroon to the back, pick up the black in the front, kind of pulling it tight. Okay, and on that last one, you don't have to switch because you're uh, you want to switch with the you want to switch with the color that you're going to be working, and since the next one is going to begin with your mid, you're just going to finish that last double crochet with that same color because I'm going to start with the mid right there. However, on the next round, since you're going to be doing red maroon, red maroon. When you come around and you finish with the red, you can finish with the black because your black is the next one. And that kind of keeps your seam, the colors at your seam, a little bit neater. So that is how you do it. So repeat the same color, um, the color combination pattern that, that I showed you in the, in the turning. So you're going to do, you do black and maroon and then you do red and maroon. And repeat that all the way around and you get that really pretty buffalo plaid pattern. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.